Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and also welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on my island Callan, which is supposed to be a romantic coastal retreat. Um, in case you're not familiar with it just yet, uh, this is kind of the vibe that we have. Lots of blue, lots of white and a little bit of pink also, you know, depending on the area, it might be a little bit more just like here with Flory and Tutu. But a lot of times I try to keep it to more of a minimum because it's not necessarily my favorite color, but I kind of wanted to challenge myself. And admittedly, I have been having lots and lots of fun with this island now. In the last episode, we actually worked on T-Bone's interior and we turned it into somewhat of a hobby slash crafts room because our story for him is that he's kind of trying to experience with different hobbies and different things to do. And he's trying to figure out who he is. And uh, now we just need to figure out this outside part as well, because there are still some open tiles. We also have a beach. We'll see how far we get today. I can't promise this entire thing is going to be uh, covered and, and filled, but I will try my best. Uh, additionally, I do have a few open tiles over here that I also kind of might want to fill up. Who is singing? Oh, Daly is singing by the ocean. Oh my god, can I get- oh my god, and Gala is doing yoga, can I get in there? And- oh, I can't. I was gonna change the music to like Cakey Bubblegum or something, or Bubblegum KK. Can't do that, unfortunately. Alrighty, so our story for T-Bone, um, uh, for the, like the outside part, is that he loves animals, right? He was always um, expected to be this very tough guy, kind of, and, you know, everyone always pressured him to, I don't know, to live up to this persona that he really wasn't. And moving on to Callan has made him discover his soft side and his uh, love for animals. And so I was kind of thinking of just littering this entire area with different animals. I just went to a treasure island. I got some bunnies, I got some ducks. Um, and plus, I don't think we're gonna use frogs and not necessarily butterflies. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything, but the other thing that I did was I got shell stools and I have, this um turtle code that i think is really cute and i believe honestly we're going to do the very same thing on the uh, back left beach because that is just kind of like an overview area there's no one really living there so that beach is kind of inaccessible so i feel like that'd be a perfect uh, area for a little turtle sanctuary almost um and i'm gonna i don't even know why i'm really starting the construction thing because i could lay the codes without it but I am going to start that and then maybe, maybe we're just going to do, I don't know, do we do the turtles back here or do we do the turtles down here? I've got a few different ones too, but I kind of feel like I want to use, um, yeah, so these here, this is the custom design I'm talking about. This is the one where you can put the, obviously you can use them like this, or you can also put the shell stool on top of it and it's heckin adorable like this is so cute obviously they're not super on brand with our colors but i still think that we can use them right i still think that these are adorable enough for me to justify using them and then the other one unlike the other code that i have is this one where the turtles are kind of going towards the water which is very cute very very cute and i also thought about having a couple of bunnies on the beach just kind of hopping around randomly um and then up here, I already had a couple of ducks, so I think I want to actually, I want to continue the duck uh, party kind of down here, but they're heading towards, maybe heading towards the beach. Plus, you know, technically, technically this or this could still be a tree, like a tree, a tiny one or a tree stump or something too. I don't think it has to be. I feel like it is totally fine if it's not. It just, you know, potentially, potentially it could be. All right, so let me see about those toy ducks. What if we have two kind of walking here? I feel like going towards the right, they're never like as on brand. Um, Cause I feel like these almost look more like they're, they're walking in a line. You know what I mean? What if we, <laughs> oh my God, wait, can we try to pretend as though they're kind of uh, like this, walking towards the left here. Oh, wait, that's cute, right? I think that's cute. Um, And then the other thing I got is a little bit of wooden fencing because I do have it up here and I have it around the, um, the lake area as well. Like sometimes you can see it kind of towards the front there or also up here. 
So I thought continuing the fence might also be an idea, either kind of next to the house. Actually, I think next to the house is, house is great. Mm, I might just need something here to kind of cover that little gap here. But that might make the, the duck walk in there a little bit harder to, to, yeah, I don't know, make it work or something. But I guess we could also just bring it way further back, kind of like this. It doesn't really go any further forward, but that's okay. So kind of like that, you can still walk in between them. Maybe that's a little bit better. I do have a puddle up on the cliff, but I mean, these are ducks. They can have more puddles, right? So we're going to uh, try and incorporate some coats here already. We've got the duck right there. Toy duck. And then I did also get the decoy duck because I thought, you know, the decoy duck could be their mom. But I don't know. I, uh... We might just include another one over here then. A decoy duck and then a toy duck next to them. And then this is the mom and the kids are just out on a stroll over here. <laughs> you know, I think it's cute. I do think it's cute. And I kind of like the fencing here, but I need to see if um, we can find something to put here. Plus we need something for the picture as well. And we still need to figure something out with the bunnies. Um... Okay, let me put my storage shed all the way back here because I don't think it'll matter too much in terms of looks. I just want to make sure that the frame for T-Bone's place is kind of a nice one. And then the other thing, because I did these like inspo cards for each of the villagers to kind of determine like hobbies that they would like or something like that. And one of the things that was on T-Bone's was actually the store friends as kind of like a little garden shed. Um, I was just thinking of that back here on the beach gonna grab a wooden stool and then I'm also going to just quickly grab uh I've got some shells on the left side already um maybe like a wooden box if I still have it I still have it okay cool <laughs> cool all right let me try that one in front of his house and then we can we can just stack something else on top of this a wooden box there we go oh and I could have picked up another decoy duck a toy duck sorry toy duck Right, and then this could be here also, you know, and then this here. Uh, this here can't be anything, right? This is a, like a half tile. Okay, but then that can be something. Yeah, and see, in that case, I think I think it might be nicer to just bring the fence back a tile. And then I think it still works pretty much the same. But then we can kind of have something in this, in this uh, little scenario right there. And I like the idea that I had for his house. Um, I did this inside his house and I put down a, like a, a lily vase and I was kind of like, what if uh, Flurry just brought him a couple of flowers and he put them up because of course he loves her. Uh, T-Bone and Flurry are very much in a relationship on this island. I don't really, I don't really know why. I just, I kind of, you know, I think it's kind of cute. All right, there we go with the picture. That's nice. Right, I'm gonna give the duck some design as well, uh, like maybe sitting in a bed of flowers. <laughs> you know, that's cute. You gotta admit that's cute. If anything, I'm aiming for cute over here. Speaking of, no, actually not. That doesn't have anything to do with cute. A little bit more fencing. Fencing is just a great filler, I think. A little bit of a fencing right there. I think that's kind of a cute frame. This could be a flower. And then this will just be like a weed for sure. Okay. Um, We need another little design code right here. I'm going to opt to go for just a couple of leaves because I don't want this to feel overcrowded. And then maybe we can just do a couple of broken, um, like broken tiles right here then i just had the thought of moving this hyacinth a tile further to the front because we've got the shrubs and the like sh the sugar cane and everything very close together like it's a lot of tall very thick items so maybe just moving that a tile further to the front like that kind of you know balances the area out a little bit better i feel like that's the word to describe it with i kind of expected that to happen all right, wooden box, wooden box, there we go. And then this was the fence. There we go, there's the fence. 
And then I think this could be probably another shrub. I still have them with me, so I can immediately include them also. We're gonna go for a hydrangea here, and then this is gonna be another flower, which I kind of wanted to continue using hyacinth in this place. So I will just go and grab, um, there might be like a pink one here, blue one over there, a white one. Yeah, let me just grab like a like very few. I'm not gonna get like an entire pocket full or anything, um, but just a few that I can use to uh, you know fill any space that needs a little bit of of, um, of decoration. I've still got a few white ones over here, and I still have a little bit of sugar cane on the beach. Also, I think I do need to plant new sugar cane just because I've used up a lot of it around the lake. Um, and here you can see the entire unfinished parts of this island, which admittedly are still a few, even though, I don't know, a lot of this, a lot of the areas are somewhat done, or at least there's an outline for them. So I think a lot of us have been able to, I don't know, maybe that's just me thinking that, but a lot of us have, have probably been able to picture this area for a while or all these areas for a while. Um, also with like the character descriptions, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, by the way, you can see all of the villager cards with the little um, inspo stuff that I came up with for them on my website. If you type in sparksby.com slash Callan, that will deliver you to basically the section on my website with all the information on this island. Um, there's a couple of pictures for vibes. There is the villager cards that I talked about, and there's also all of the custom designs that I use, um, as well as my like Pinterest inspo board is also linked there. So in case you're confused about any of that, um, feel free to check it out if you want to. And then we are right back at T-Bone's place to continue spreading around some more fillers. So this as a pink one, there you go. This just because there's a blue one right behind it, I think we're gonna go with a white one. I don't wanna use too much pink for his um, area. So there's that and then I believe I want to move uh, in here and put a blue one right there. And then I don't know if this will be a shrub or if this will be like a sugar cane. I really like these three flowers together. That looks kind of cute. The duck is there. I think this should be a shrub and we'll go for maybe an azalea. And then let's make this a sugar cane. Let's make that a sugar cane and place the toy duck back down. If it allows me, it does. Awesome. All right. I uh, still need a little design underneath this one. Let's see what we have. We've got blue flowers and we've got a puddle. So we can also maybe just put down some more, some more leaves so that again, we don't overdo it with this part. We still kind of, you know, even though full, we still kind of wanted to give off somewhat peaceful vibes. So there's that. Okay, let's see about a little bit more fencing, maybe. Oh, you know what would be nice? Because I don't necessarily want you to hop anywhere. This would, would kind of be nice with the left part kind of removed, which I easily can do. I think. <laughs> I think anyways. Oh, I might have to, oh gosh, I don't know. I might have to climb my way there. Or, or decorate that first and then do the rest of these tiles. I think that's probably smarter. Okay, also excuse the waterfall sounds. I know we all love, love, love those. <laughs> so we're just gonna try and grind through this real quick. This is more hyacinth and sugarcane possibility right here. So you know what, I'm just gonna do that. We're gonna do hyacinth, sugarcane, and then this is just gonna be a small, small little weed. And then let's see if we can also fix up this part over here. Honestly, um, can you see this from the front? I mean, barely, Oh, Oh my God, do they remember me? They're gonna be like, who are you? Oh yeah. Oh, they just stopped talking. Oh, okay, Daily still remembers me, but they just stopped talking. Oh, dang it. They're both in their like yoga outfit though. That's really cute. That's really heckin' cute. Okay, how about we make this a... Ooh, um... Oh gosh, I don't know. Maybe a shrub. Maybe a shrub and then we can do another hyacinth, like... There, maybe? I still have a white one. There we go. 
And then let's make this one a... Lumeria? I don't see one anywhere close. Oh wait, I actually do. <laughs> Never mind, I do see one. Uh, let's go with the hibiscus then. There's also one on the left there, like the on the cliff, but I think that that one isn't in the same uh, frame because you're really never going to stand here, so that's okay. And then the rest of this I think is going to be weeds, mostly. We can plop another shrub kind of here, like a tea olive. And then there is another weed. Let me check this to the front. Is this still a tile? Technically, yes, but I have a vine there to cover it, so that's good. All right, so all of those tiles are <laughs> I'm more or less filled, I guess. Um, oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, that's kind of annoying now. Hold on. I need to think about how I can get there the easiest. I guess, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just remove this little bit of water here. I think that's the easiest because I was I was thinking about climbing up and you know going via my house but I remember I had to pluck a couple of weeds there or like uh, get some shrubs out I feel like that would have been way more complicated than this quick little change here and there we go uh this can be another shrub we have a azalea on the cliff and over there uh, maybe maybe a hydrangea I like the hydrangea ones. They're like very nice and soft. All right, and then let's also use another hyacinth here. And here too. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about these colors. This one could be just the white one. And then we could work with, um... Oh, that's a couple of weird tiles here. Maybe this should be a sugar cane. And then this will be another hyacinth or something. Or maybe this will be blue and this will be white. And then maybe we can get away with the rest of it being weeds just because I want... Or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can also... Good way to not have to fill everything with flowers and stuff is to use a tiny bit more of the plank path. A little path onto the beach because why not? Right? I think that's better. Okay, so I need one more. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I feel like one more blue hyacinth here. And then maybe another white one. Unless I don't know about this part here. That wasn't just supposed to just be a weed just because we've got that box now and there's like a lot of open space. At least until that shrub grows. Or what about this also being a little fence? Is that too, too much fence? It has like a garden vibe almost. Yeah, it might be like a tad too much though, just with this here. Okay. Let's try with this being a weed, but maybe like either the clumps or the light green ones. There we go. This is going to be a sugar cane, and then right behind it, we're going to try with the hyacinth. But I think we need to use a white one. So I will just grab those two things real quick, and then we'll see. All right, here we are. So number one, sugar cane. And number two, the hyacinth. And then let's see if this is weird with this being so open. Okay, maybe a tiny bit. Maybe a tiny bit. But if I use if I move the highest end here, let me try with the pink one real quick. Does that cover the duck? Okay, it kind of doesn't, but it, it, it like puts these in like a line of three, which I don't love. Okay, but so maybe we remove the sugar cane and we move the highest end a tiny bit further towards the edge of the pond, like so. Oh my god, nope. <laughs> nope, put, put it back, please. Put it back where it belongs. Thank you. And then maybe this is the maybe this is the sugar cane. Oh my god, stop girl, stop. This is this is embarrassing. Please make this the sugar cane. And then you just you just do nothing here. And nothing, of course, in my 
in my scenario means uh, some weeds. And I actually would have liked these to be <laughs> the other way around. No clovers, please. The clovers are too flat. No clovers, please. The clovers are too flat. There we go. All right. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, let's see if I can... Um, oh yeah, I still have the storefronts. Or maybe this rock in the back. I think I would two, I would put two next to each other. Um, and then also probably two, like back to back. So it kind of looks more like a building. I probably need to see this with the right lighting. Because right now it is uh, like almost 11. Which means the sun is basically behind my character now I think. And so the reflections are quite quite a lot like they're quite present and that's not the best thing ever plus we can make this here into a coconut tree and then if we move the storage or the storefront thing kind of okay wait um kind of here instead I feel like the edge would kind of be covered by the coconut tree which might look much much better Mm, we don't have a lot of space here to use anything else, though, which I thought we might have. I thought this was actually a bigger rock, but it's not really. Okay, so that was here, right? Like this. And it does go a tiny bit further back. Okay, so we could go ahead and introduce... Well, maybe there is a little bit of room here. Okay, uh, so... I think, what could he maybe possibly have there? Uh, we have another wooden box maybe, and some stacked bags. These could be like food for the birds and the ducks, who knows? Uh, then I wanted to go and grab um, just a, <laughs> just a, oh no, I don't have the white ones. Okay, dang it. Well, might, might be fine. And I can just order new ones and put these in next time. Uh, I might order new ones anyways, just because I don't think I'll use the pink ones quite as much as the white ones. So let me do that before I forget it. Uh, let's go in here and then miscellaneous. And then these are called Casablanca lilies. There we go. I'm going to get like three just because in case I want to use these a couple more times, I can. And then I'll leave the rest open because I might want to order something else. If not, you know, I can still grab some... Uh, I can still grab some weed fields. Actually, though, I kind of almost don't mind the pink ones. I kind of don't mind the pink ones. All right, from this frame here. You know, that's okay. I don't know where I want the turtles to be. I guess with them... I guess with them heading downwards, you know, it makes more sense to have these on a beach kind of at the bottom... Or I might actually just want to have them back here because I feel like anything else is too too weird and obvious. Oh, wait, that's right. I need to order storefronts. I need to order storefronts for sure. Oh, yeah, and th this is room or some bags and a box. Awesome. All right. Right, okay. I did, I did see that I have blue storefronts, so let me grab those. And I need some coconuts. Uh, storefronts. There we go. I'm gonna grab this and I'm also gonna grab a curtain partition because these always look quite cute in combination. Uh, and here are some coconuts because I still think I'm gonna put a coconut tree here. And then I'm not sure I can pull this over anymore towards the right hand side. No, okay. I'm gonna say we can move that, but I don't think we can. Unless, of course. Oh, okay, no. Unless, of course, we don't make it double. You know? So it's just the single tile. And then we can move everything a tiny bit further back. Like so. Actually, that was... Like this. And like this. And then I have... Um, a storefront here. Just the blue one. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh yeah, the, the blue one could also work. Maybe this is better in terms of the alignment. And then maybe this... Maybe the one on the left-hand side just isn't a double one. Or, you know, um, option, option uh, number two is that we just put this fence behind it. 
this year. I feel like maybe that justifies it. <laughs> if there's room, again, I'm not quite sure there is. This is only half a tile wide, so I believe that it is. And then is this my storefront? Yes, I think so. There we go. Okay, and then... Uh, this would be the curtain partition. Which can then be halfway open. I don't know. It's just a cutesy little build. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to have any meaning or any purpose. Uh, it can just be a cutesy little building on the beach. Coconut tree goes there. Maybe we can put like another stack box or something like halfway behind it. Um, just so there's something happening. Because I feel like otherwise the beach and the rocks and stuff can be kind of annoying or not, not annoying, but like boring almost. So that might be an idea. All right. So that means I definitely needed one more white storefront. I mean, I could order more, but I don't have, I can only order like two more things, I think. Uh, storefront, storefront in white. There we go. Uh, then that will be here the next day. Oh, and that because gives me more miles. Of course, why not? There we go. Alrighty. Mm. Let's think about this. So we have coconut tree. I don't think this can be a tree because of the rock. They can always be very close to the water on the beach, but they can't be super close to the rocks. So this might be the only options that we've got. And then um, I might just add like three little turtles back here. Let's get the code. There'd be one maybe like there, one there, and then we put another one kind of here on the rock right there. Alrighty. Uh, and then this is the shell stool moment, of course. There isn't another one I think that fits any better than this, unfortunately. Uh, even though this is not the perfect customization for this island. Let me just check that real quick. I don't have any customization kits with me, but we can still look at it, I guess. Uh, shell stool. There we go. So, okay, because this is considered the white one. We've got brown. There is pink, but... You know, there's yellow, uh, there's pearl and purple. Uh, I wonder, I don't know, I feel like this is a customization, honestly. And I, I mean, I would say the pink and purple also, but these you can probably just use in like an imaginary mermaid underwater theme. I just feel like I don't really see a scenario where those make sense. Oh, wait. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I like you being able to see that one uh on the rock there okay let's change of plans a change of plans we get these two closer together and then we put another one kind of closer to the water there okay i think this might be better okay so turtle number one and uh, turtle number two leaves again unfortunately and we'll take this one and then maybe um I just thought, you know, we've got this fence here. We could just place a little bit more fence here as though that's like a bit more of a private area. Which at the same time, I guess, doesn't really make much sense with this with the storefront thing that we've now built. Did not mean to make it like this. Oh, like a gate. Oh my god, I didn't I didn't even think about that, but that actually, you know. Yeah. Maybe like this. None of this can be uh, coconut, I believe. Um, oh wait, actually, maybe where the where the fence is now. Or can it? Yeah, maybe this here could be a coconut tree. Uh, oh, I don't know. I might want to try though. And then can this be a fence? No. <laughs> My character is trying, but it does not seem to work. So <laughs> I don't think I don't think it can be. All right, so maybe. And then this can't be either. OK, so maybe that's the fence then. If that's a coconut, you would have to walk like here, though. Not a fan of that. I am not a fan of that. OK. Uh... Oh, this is like a terrible spacing, though. 
Hmm. This is terrible spacing. I'm not liking that. Okay, but let's assemble the little turtles over here and uh, get our trees to start growing. And then I feel like we can still check in and change it. I mean, this one could move over to this side, by the way. And the other side, the other one also a tile over. I just kind of assembled that all with the little building in the background, which I still kind of want to hold on to. I don't even know why, but I still kind of want to try it. Just, just a little cutesy thing. Okay, and then... Oh yeah, the bunnies. Oh yeah, the bunnies, the bunnies, the bunnies. This is the bunny beach, you know? I just, I really like these. I just used them on Sycamore too for this like tulip farm. And I thought they were adorable, so. Uh, let me test real quick which is the actual tile. Okay, so more like that and that. Uh, maybe we can plant a little bit more sugarcane on the beach, too. And then just because I feel like we're missing a little bit of height, this here actually could... Okay, wait, that's exactly where the path is. Okay, uh, then this here or this here could be a coconut tree. Mm-hmm. And then somewhere like here or closer to the water... I need to get, I feel like I need to get like a small coconut tree just to try if these can actually be trees. Plus I'm layering them so much on the outside of this. Okay, let's make this here a tree. Um, and then let's make this here a tree. And we're also going to make th that a tree, right. One, two, three. I feel like uh, these might be smaller here. Mm. And this might be a tree. Maybe that's also not the worst idea. Right. Okay. And then I did, I removed my, <laughs> I removed my little duck on the rock here. Is it too many animals? Is this weird? I'm not, I don't even know if bunnies and turtles could, like, live together or if they'd hate each other. Um, but in my world, we're going to assume... Oh my god, are the bunnies watching the turtles? <gasps> that makes me too happy. Um, yeah, because, like, I, I don't know. It might be weird, you know? You know what I mean? Like, from this area, you kind of don't see the turtles, you just see the bunnies. But we don't have to overdo it, either. We do not have to overdo it. Some ducks heading towards the water here. Uh, one of which had a different direction, that one, I think. Just notice that, in case you were kind of screaming at me, uh, trying to tell me that. I apologize. Forgot to turn it backwards, but I saw it. Okay. I always kind of like them to have conversations. Like I always place, I always place a couple of animals like together somewhat like this so that they can talk to each other, you know, confide in each other, talk about their problems, their issues, like humans, for example. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Oh, I've gotten quite a few bunnies. Like these two here, there could be something growing right there that they want to munch on. Maybe that's okay. And then maybe we could have another one. I just saw, I, I do have one more with me. We can have one more in front of this, um, in front of this tree, maybe somewhere like there. And then if we plant some stuff in between, then that might be perfectly fine. Would I also just plant hyacinths on here or would this be would this be different flowers or would this be little starter flowers? I love the pansies for the beaches. I have a couple of flower backs. Okay, Lily, Cosmo, Hyacinth, Lily, Mum, <gasps> Pansy. There we go. The pansies are super cute. I will show you why. They look like I've used them before. And, uh, did I? Oh, no, wait. No, 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 no. I have them on the beach on the left. I was like, are these planned for my 
uh, for actually my little tulip garden because they look like the little tulip sprout thingies. Look at this. This is super cute. I feel like this could just, honestly, this could just be this. I like to keep my beaches mostly natural because I feel like beaches that are too cluttered, oftentimes I don't really vibe with like that much. So here's this and then maybe this will be another tiny little piece of fence. Uh, or maybe not because it's doubled with the background. And we can also use the weeds, of course. Okay, let's use another one here. Can this even be something planted? Oh, it can be. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't know. I could use like some hyacinths maybe, but I kind of don't want to crowd this, you know? Let me just get like a few, very few white and blue. I don't think I'm going to use pink on the beach, but, but like very few white and blue ones. Okay, there we go. So maybe we will make this one here a hyacinth and then maybe this one towards the front as well. I kind of probably need to see this with um, all the like trees grown because I feel like that'll probably change the vibe again. But as for right now, I feel like these two could be hyacinths. You know, and then there could be one maybe like, oh no. Oh, I guess next to the coconut. I was going to say slightly behind it, but I guess like this is fine. <laughs> I guess this is fine too. And then maybe we can have one here, like a blue one this time. I need to check this from the front. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe a, maybe a white one. And maybe that's enough already. You know, and then we're going to do... Maybe just a weed right here and another pansy start right there. Plus maybe another weed here. Okay. And you know what? I mean, honestly, this could be it. This could literally be it. So I think we need to now go time travel so that we can get all these trees to be somewhat grown. And then I guess we'll take a look at this again and decide if this is enough or if there's something uh, if there's something missing. So let's time travel, I think, three days forward. Any smaller than that, the coconut trees look a little bit weird. And here we are. All right. OK, Ooh, actually, I think this is looking much, much better already. Now, I wouldn't mind if this here grew a little bit taller, maybe. I do think I want to I want to stop this one from growing. And in that case, I even might pull the bunny a tiny bit further to the front because otherwise it's going to get swallowed up by the shadow of the coconut tree. And now looking here, maybe it should be a blue highest and oh my God, I cannot decide. But I mean, what else is new? Am I right? What else is new? Okay, so blue highest and goes here. Uh, I will need to get my storefront up again or not my storefront. Sorry, my wooden storage shed. But speaking of storefront, I did get the one that we ordered in white. There we go. Here is the white one. And then I just thought about customizing the um, curtain partition with that with that coastal design that we've got. So I need to get some uh, customization kits because I am all out. Or I actually, I think I just cleaned my, probably just cleaned my pockets for the Treasure Island runs when I got all the music and stuff. So yeah, okay, here's my workbench. Awesome. And then let's go customize. The oh curtain partition, there it was. Curtain partition. And we will actually make this into this right here. All right. Let's go. Let's see if that looks good from the front. Mm-hmm. And of course we're gonna open it up again. I feel like that's cute. Okay, now I just need to decide from the front which trees I should probably go ahead and stun. Oh, that was a rhyme. Look at me go. Oh, speaking of, I need fruit. <laughs> I need fruit. Coconuts don't work. Coconuts do not work. Anything else pretty much works, but coconuts do not. Okay, I still have a lot of peaches. Let's use those. 
<laughs> Gosh, oh my god. If my brain wasn't like inside my head, you know, I would forget it. Okay, I think we're gonna let this one fully grow. But this one we're gonna stun. For now, I have to stun it towards the side though, so it doesn't block the other one's growth. This one is gonna be stunted, and then maybe both of the ones here on the side will grow fully. From this view, I then would maybe like for this one to also be stunted. I don't know what accent that was. <laughs> so that one is also stunted, right? And then, and then I might be okay with both of those in the back also growing. Yeah, and then maybe here we can just drop like a shell or something. Grab this, drop it. I know it's a coconut, not a shell, but you know. Yeah, that might be nice. All right, and then I did also order the new lilies. So let's see if we actually prefer the pink ones because I actually didn't mind them. Oh, I guess, oh, dang it. I guess both kind of works. Only the issue is with the white ones, they're almost a little yellowish. I might, lo and behold, prefer <laughs> the pink one. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I might prefer the pink one. Okay, and then of course the toy deck needs to go back. There we go. Um, all right, so this one's stunted. Those two are going to grow. And this one's stunted. And we're going to also let those two grow. Okay, so let's roll on to the next day, which will actually get us outside of cherry blossom season. But I think for this view, it's probably okay. Oh, speaking of that view should be fine. We do have um, we do have rain going on today. It's interesting to see this island during the rain because it usually, you know, during cherry blossom season, it obviously doesn't. Uh, and then, oh my God, all the shrubs, the azalea shrubs are starting to bloom. Interesting. Oh, okay, here we are now. Ah, right. I was a little worried that it would do that, but I think I'm okay with it because the coconut tree kind of blocks the duck a tiny bit. I think it's fine, though. <laughs> I think this is fine. Um, okay, so kind of this would be the view. I think that's okay, right? We've got the bunnies over here chilling, which also I believe is fine. I don't know if maybe we'll move... Shall we move that one backwards by either half a tile both or a full one? Maybe it's okay. All right, so kind of like this is probably okay. And then our sapling can go over to the, like behind the tree now. Doesn't hinder the growth anymore, that's good. No, I think this looks a little awkward here with the shell stools, but as soon as you get closer to it, you know what it's supposed to be, then I think it kind of makes sense. Okay, let me remove my storage shed and uh, my DIY workbench because those are not going to stay there. And then I just brought some shells here. Okay, there we go with the shell. There's going to be more spawning over here. Um, and that might be it. You know, not too exciting, you know, but these kind of small little areas also have to be done. And I might just say goodbye to you today in the rain, in the pouring rain, <laughs> which is much more dramatic than it needs to be. But I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. Next time, we might be working on one of my own interiors, like one of the rooms in my own house. Um, and then I don't know exactly what area we're going to continue with next. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you like this video and also subscribe. That would help a ton. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.